Well, and welcome to the Monday Live Angel Message. I'm Rachel Skoltok. I'll be pulling you a few cards today to give you a reading for the week ahead. Now, I'm new to using this new um, live stream that uh, that Facebook has started. Okay, I think I've got it. So I, I don't know where the comments are or anything, so you have to bear with me if I'm doing anything that's odd or out of order. Anyway, happy Monday, happy Easter. I hope you've had a peaceful and lovely Easter and you're enjoying the rest of the Easter long weekend. Um, as strange as it is to be where we are at the moment, um, it, it just so has such a energy when you take the time to connect with it of being um, a rebirth for everybody, for the earth, for um, the energy. This is a time of massive, massive change and awakening and it's all good. If you can tune out of the um, the fear, the mass consciousness fear, the media stuff, the conspiracy theories, and come into the present moment and set an intention to raise your vibration and to come up to that higher level, you'll notice that your own vibration is already shifting very to a very high level. And you'll, you'll feel this sense of peace, of bliss, of magic that it hasn't been here before. And it's more than just the feeling of um, peace, you know, the fact that there's no airplanes zooming or there's not loud traffic. It's much more than that. There's a, a different energy. And if you've got the time and you you um, feel guided, go and have a look at my masterclass that I recorded, a two hours live masterclass I recorded on Thursday morning, which um, has some powerful energy activations and some teachings and a guided meditation that's really gonna help you to step into that new energy that's waiting for you. Because what comes with the new energy, and we have to remember this when it comes to spiritual guidance and spiritual work, is that there is a practical side to it, right? It's, otherwise it's just entertainment. Is that you are being, you know, you're shedding the old skin, you're shedding the the um, the stuff that doesn't serve you anymore, whether that's old wounds, um, traumas, experiences that have had an effect on hardening you or um, shrinking you or creating some kind of behavior or energy inside of you that doesn't fit with your fullest potential. And by that, I, I don't mean like rah, 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 fullest potential, as in, you know, be the best you can be. But it's about you feeling the best you can feel, feeling um, in touch with your core divine power, feeling in touch the higher realms, the angels, the spiritual team that are around you, connecting with your intuition and the guidance for your next steps moving forward in your life, what your purpose, your where to next, right? For all of us. And I think this moment in time is an opportunity for some of us to go within and to connect with okay what am i done with that i've just been automatically living over and over again and not really giving much thought to because the whole merry-go-round of life hasn't given me a chance to what is it that um i'm excited that i want to draw into my life that perhaps i've forgotten and i've parked because of busyness or because of being in a, a mental, emotional pattern that doesn't serve me, or maybe I'd given up on an idea, so that you can welcome in joy, so that you can welcome in, you know, for me, I'm thinking about ways I can work and still serve on a bigger level, a deeper level, but have more time for me as well. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all here to serve us if we choose to look at it that way. And of course, we're still, um, many of us dealing with the reverberation of shock about it, about the change, there's grief, there is this feeling of fear about how long is it gonna last and um, am I gonna get ill for some people? So we're dealing with so much. So I would say be really patient with yourself and gentle with yourself at this time. But understand that you can tune out of that fear if you come into the present moment. And the words a new earth keep coming to me over the last two days, a new earth. And um, I went for a swim yesterday at, um, at the beach. The, it's autumn here, but the um, ocean is still warm and the sun was beautiful. And a dolphin came so close 
a wild dolphin on its own came in, came really close and swam by. And, you know, dolphins are representations of joy, of being and living in the moment. They're also very strongly connected to transformation, transcendence, healing. They remind us to breathe more deeply. They are um, related to the Palladian energy, which we use in Reiki and other energy healing and sacred geometric um, shapes. There's so many messages that came with that, but it, it was also a reminder of joy and and magic for me. And you know, after I settled back down after that, I immediately thought of doing this video today and thinking about bringing that energy to you because you know the magic's not just out there for me. It's out there for all of us. So let's pull some cards for the week ahead and see what um, what the angels have to say. Hi, Dee. Thank you for my beautiful, magical blessings box that you sent me. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Kobe. Nice to see you here. So I really do hope I'm doing okay with this because it's a completely different landscape, this Facebook Live. Okay, so I'm using Archangel Michael cards. I, one of the things that I've done is I've trimmed down the amount of cards I have and I've decided which ones I'm going to keep and some, which ones I'm not going to keep and I'm not going to use again. So these ones survived the, because they they feel like mine. I've had them for such a long time. The energy is, is mine and it's no longer related to whoever authored them. Okay. So what the angels are reminding us of today is to stay connected with our power. And knowing that the power is within you, you have an immense power within you. And part of that is in that masterclass. So if you haven't watched it, you can still sign up. I left the sign up there. Um, when you go to my website, it'll pop up, will come up, and you can put your enter your email in there and have it straight away, the video. But it's about connecting, connecting with your inner power right now. There's no room for... Um, the lower energy stuff of feeling powerless. And, and at the moment, we're really being challenged at that, right? Because we do feel as powerless on one, to one extent, right? Because like, I can't go where I want to go. I, I can't get on a plane and go where I want to go. Or I can't go and see my family. But maybe that's why it's happening on an, on an energetic level is to teach you about your power, the power you have over your thoughts and feelings, the power you have to manifest and to create, the power you have to connect and receive guidance, messages, communicate with the source and the divine, get your own answers, you know, um, connect with your own truth about this. You don't need to watch endless um, opinion videos or, or read and search for, for, because everybody sees the world through their own filter, right? So if it's a fear-based filter, it's very difficult. So this is about connecting with your power. You can manifest at this time. You have the power to manifest what you need still. Okay, so the first card out is um, Archangel Michael card. This is your home is protected by the angels. Now, this is really powerful because one of the things you need to remember that it doesn't matter what's going on out there that you can keep the vibration high in your own home. You can surround your home with a, um, uh, an energetic light and, and, and you know, cleanse the energy, clear the clutter is really important at this time. And lift the vibration within your home so that you have a safe place to go. You know, if you go out to the supermarket and you find the energy heavy and hard, you can come home and still and feel that energy lifting you and, and nurturing you and energizing you. You could use the violet flame um, to, with Archangel Zadkiel and Archangel Michael, to cleanse the vibration of your home and the, and the corners of your property and even imagine the flame around your home just burning off any lower energies as they're released. And that's going to help you to, to ascend your energy and your vibration, but it's also going to help you to keep the space really nice and clear. And then you can think, you can bring your attention to what is needed. Now, one thing that I always do is I ask for the angels to stand on every door and window as protection. And also I put put angels at the boundary of my, of my home too for protection, for light, to ensure that only love and light enters. So this is letting you know that your, your home and your loved ones are safe and protected. And you can decide to raise your vibration above the, um, the manifestation of illness. 
of the virus raise your vibration above it and um if you know anybody you know is suffering from the illness you can do that for them too. ask you know you'd have to ask permission from their higher self but you can make the intention to surround them with light if it be for the highest good to raise their vibration above it so that their body can shed that energy and you know at the same time surrender is really important which means that we trust in divine will we we hand things over to the higher power so that we're not creating karma and trying to control anything because we don't know the bigger picture of everything right sometimes there's a, a, a blessing or a meaning or a lesson or an agreement that we don't understand and we have to step back from trying to control everything okay so you see my little angel candle there in the corner with my crystal um here's the second card i love this card so much look at the colors how does that feel to you and look at what the archangel michael is doing he's kind of He's, he's up in the high vibrations. He's up above the clouds. He's riding on this rainbow energy. Rainbows have been really um, powerful. I was even seeing rainbows yesterday in clear daylight with not a cloud in the sky. There's a lot of rainbow energies which are representing the, um, the lifting and the transformation and how we're being accessed to our higher. It's like the full spectrum of energy at the moment is available to us if we want to reach for it. So Archangel Michael in this card is about taking you to that higher level. He's he has a he's spinning like a diamond or an ascension flame on his finger. He's asking you to rise above the heaviness, the darkness, the um the deep dark thoughts, you know, the fear thoughts that you have that are your worst thoughts, you know what they are. Um ask for them to be transmuted, raise above them and start thinking about what you want rather than what you fear. Think about what you want rather than what you fear. What do you want to create? What do you want to create for yourself? What kind of life do you want to live? What do you want to see humanity living? And, and rather than going into the ain't it awful, isn't it terrible? Um, look what humans have done. I hear that all the time. You're a light worker. You're here to hold the light. You're here to focus on the light. You're not here to focus on the fear and the negativity. It brings your vibration down and it puts you out of order as a light worker. So, you know, I understand that there is lots of ideas around about what this is and who created it and what it might be and what kind of dark, deep stuff might be behind it. But I do not believe that it is our place to hold that vision because the more energy we give it, the, the, the stronger it becomes. So if we want to create something else, we've got to start to take our courage, our power back. And instead of being victims, of what other people are saying and doing, we have to then say, okay, this is now our turn. We are creating this new life, this new earth, this new planet. This it could be something minuscule, like, okay, I wanna, I wanna change the way I live. I wanna change the way I eat. I wanna change the way I interact with my family. Um, I wanna bring it all to the energy of love and beyond that, not the energy of fear, negativity, and complaining and, and manipulation or whatever it is that has harmed you in the past. So the message on the card is asking you to call on divine love and wisdom, and it says positive thoughts create positive results. So, you know, questions like why and how long actually are ego distractions from your power because they make you think like something else is in charge, right? So uh, I didn't even look at this card until this minute and I have got goosebumps coming up my body and uh, if you, it would feel like my hair is standing on end. The message is new beginnings and a fresh start. This is the outcome. So this is the present situation. This is the guidance. This is the outcome if you follow the guidance. The quicker you get on board with thinking about what you want rather than what you fear and starting to create that in your mind, and with your thoughts, words, and actions, the quicker we'll be at our new beginning. There's a brand new start. Um, and look, at it shows Archangel Michael sort of hovering over the earth. There's the clouds, which look very much like my picture that I put up the other day behind, and his wings outspread. And it's new opportunities, new beginnings are coming for you. So you're being asked to trust and communicate with your angels, connect with Archangel Michael, your guardian angels, your spiritual team that are helping you at this time, and say, okay, 
what do I need to do? What do I need to know? What can I clear from my energy? What what am I, fill me with courage, fill me with trust. I'm ready to be guided to this new beginning, whatever that is for you. And instead of trying to figure it all out up here, come, in, come into your heart center. Hey, Tracy, nice to see you, thank you. Hi, Sumi, nice to see you too. So I'll pull you one more card and then we might just do a little quick exercise of opening your heart. Okay, mm, interesting that we have this card as well as the your home is protected. So I um, one thing that I always do, and if you've ever worked with me, you would know, know this, is that I always surround my healing sessions with a dome of light. And I ask that that light is the highest divine light. And then I surround my clients and myself in an individual dome of light and um, the space. So if I was doing a workshop in person, I would surround the space with a dome of light. And I ask that nothing negative, no, no lower energies can penetrate. And if you or I release any energy during this time, then it will go through the dome of light through a special doorway that's only one way. And so only all the negative energy that you might release, maybe it's the guilt or the pain of an old trauma or um, the anger that you're holding on to or the fear and anxiety that's in your body, that gets transmuted away and cannot come back. And then you are free to choose new feelings and new thoughts and, and, and process it. So this card is saying surround yourself with protective energy. So what, for whatever reason you might need it, but the first thing that comes to, to my mind is that lower, that kind of buzz, it's like an interference. You know when you've got your radio on and, and there's that like, that you can't get away from or I, I don't like that white noise sound when I've got the bathroom fan on. It's It interferes, even though it's not um, overwhelming, it interferes with your clear connection, your clear thought. And so that low buzz of fear, anxiety um, is in the world interferes so you need to protect that now I'll come on later and do a, um, a, a guided healing with you I've decided I'm going to leave that there with you and wish you the best of, of this week sending you angel blessings please know I've got an, a new program um, that is ready now I've only got a few places left on it actually I sold a lot of places on Thursday after the workshop which is called awakening your soul gifts program and it's all about opening your intuition we're going to be using tools like the pendulum, um, all sorts of ways to help you get quick answers from spirit, but also to develop a strong connection with your angels and get clear messages. And that starts at the end of April. So if you'd like to be a part of that, I've got a really special offer on at the moment of getting a free reading with me, as well as some other bonuses. So over $2,000 worth of bonuses when you sign up to that program. So let me know if you're interested in that. I'm sending you angel blessings and lots of love. Have a great week and see you next time. See you later today.